ladies and gentlemen, to Players Prep, powered by Scoreboard. We are now at East Nashville, one of the funniest, I say funniest not in a bad way, because the guy has quite a character, Jim Fay here, the head coach of the basketball program. He's been gracious enough to give us some of his time telling us about the game tonight up against uh, Pearl Cone. First coach, 21-2, phenomenal record. Great job. One time you've lost in the district against the guys you face tonight. Right. What do we got to do differently this time to, at least at home, on your own home turf, get that W? Well, one thing we can't do is we can't get caught up in the emotion of the game. And a lot of, a lot of what happened the first time we played, uh, we had a tremendous crowd. We got caught up in the crowd. We didn't play our typical game, and then we didn't finish on some situations. We didn't knock down free throws. I think we missed about 10. And then we made some other poor decisions. So I, I feel confident that we're going we're gonna to make some improvements and be ready to go tonight or tomorrow night. Coach, like Brad said, you know, the last loss you had was against this team that you're playing tonight. And you've won, I think, seven in a row since then. How important is it for your team to have that momentum going into a game where they're looking for a lot of revenge? Well, you know, momentum can go a lot of ways. I mean, sometimes you come off a loss that re-inspires you. Sometimes if you have too many wins, you're overconfident and you just feel like that's going to happen. Uh, we played a tough MLK team the other night, uh, last Tuesday, and I think that helped get our attention. And then Hume Fogg played us pretty, pretty tough. But the bottom line is we feel like every time we step out in our district, we're going to have a bullseye painted on us. So we need to bring our best game every night. And if we don't, then we're going to get what we ask for if we're not prepared. Mm -hmm. Jim, 62-55 um, when you guys played on January 2nd. Is that about the tempo? Is that about where y'all want to be? Or are you looking to make it a more of a, an offensive type of game? Or what, what do you look to do on the offside? Well, I mean, we always look to, to be offensive minded, but uh, quite honestly, our defense has, has been our bell cow and they've, and de they've done what they needed to defensively. Um, so the score wise, it doesn't really matter as long as we have at least one more than what they have. Um, I just feel like I, I think it's going to be another knockdown, drag out uh, fight, and uh, you know the game there was 50 all for probably two minutes, and we missed five out of six free throws in that stretch, and that got us behind and made us have to play a little bit differently, and and I think that was a big factor. If we can knock down our free throws and and just finish a little bit better, then I think uh, I think we'll have a different. Earl Cone will be in the house tomorrow night to face East Nashville. We know this will be a raucous environment. We wish you a lot of luck, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Tell the guys how they can uh, get scorebird.com, guys. App Store, Google Play, free app, and we will be having this game on the app. If you can't make it to this gym, it'll be live updated on the app. Like, like to the minute. Like to, to the second. second. To the second. It's it's quick and and if, if so it's I can not sit this at home and well, I can sit at home and get it off. While you coach, you can do it. It wouldn't be the first time you've done that. <laughs> no, <it wouldn't. laughs> so you got teed up and had to do it. From, no, that's another that's another uh, episode. We'll come back and get you on that one. Later but you on. can get updates from this one or whatever game it is that you're interested in to the second, and it's a free app. Absolutely. That's going to do it for this edition of Players Prep, powered by Scorebird. The journey will continue. So continue to watch us for our updates.